What's going on y'all? It's your boy Nicholas and welcome back to Nick's Dynasty back at the Detroit airport, my home airport. I'm gonna do another video or a different video. Jeb Brooks has done this about how long it takes to walk through the Atlanta airport from the furthest gate. We're gonna do that into Detroit. So if you have connections in Detroit and you might be worried that you might not make a connection, let's see how long it's actually gonna take. We're gonna walk at a gingerly pace starting here at the B terminal and going all the way to the A terminal to like A77 or whatever the gate is there. So if you're worried, if you have connections here, we you might not need to be so worried because let's see how long this takes. It might not be long, let's see. And for this experiment today, we're not gonna use any moving sidewalks. We're just gonna walk with our own accord, nothing to help us, no tram, no nothing. It's just walk, 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 walk. We are going to start right here and then go all the way over here. Customers on flight 3889 to State College. Our starting point is gonna be here at B21. All the way against this window is where we're gonna start. I walk all the way to that terminal, but we're not gonna go to that corner. We're gonna go to the opposite corner over there. Most people, we will be carrying a luggage. Two, one, go. We are in just the McNamara terminal, which is all Delta. There is another terminal now called the Evans terminal that has all the other airlines. The A terminal here in McNamara is actually the second longest terminal in the world behind one airport in Japan. It is over a mile long from end to end. DTW is a major, major hub for Delta Airlines. It ranks number two or three in Delta system. Minneapolis and Detroit do go back and forth often. This is considered a fortress hub for Delta. It does have over 70% of the market share at the airport. If you combine the mainline Delta Airlines, Endeavor Air, and all the other regional carriers that Delta operates here. Almost to the underground tunnel, and it's only been four minutes, almost five minutes. So we're about to cross over to a terminal. Almost to Terminal A, and it's only been eight minutes and a half, so good time. Almost there, to be honest. Almost there. And as you can see, there's a sign for Express Tram that go, has two trams that go both directions in this terminal. It's a one long terminal. There's no curves or anything. And that train will take you from A1 to A77. You could go up right there, but we are, like I said, just walking. And now we make that turn to go to the higher numbers of gates. The brand new Sky Club right there. That Sky Club number five here in this terminal. Just left the one in C earlier. But we are still going. Oh, never mind. No moving sidewalk. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the stop for the north station of the tram. There's also a Sky Club up there. So over here is A66 and the other escalator side is A67 and above. Minute Suites right here, Longhorn. And we're gonna keep on going. We're almost there. I can see A77 straight ahead. We'll see what our time is, y'all. Don't have to worry. Food court area with Chick-fil-A, Qdoba, Pinkberry, and Gordon Bish, Bursch Brewery, or whatever you call it. Music playing in the background from a live pianist. Right over there. Y'all, we are super close. We're almost there. I can see gate A78. We came from all the way over at B, what, 21, walking at a gingerly pace. We can't make it all the way to the glass because it is roped off, but we'll do a big loop over here and we'll see what our time is. There's the wall. We can stop it. Oh. Not long at all. Not long. All right, y'all. So it only took us 20 minutes to make it from end to end. If your layover time is 40 minutes, if you land with like 40 minutes, you borrow 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 25 minutes, grab your stuff and go. You can walk it. You can take the tram. You can do all these things. And you'll be able to make your connection. It's not that long of a walk. You may think you are super far away, but you know, your legs will take you there and you'll be able to make your flight. Even if your flight is boarding, boarding usually starts around 40 minutes prior to taking off. The doors usually close maybe either 10 minutes or five minutes from that departure time. So if you land, you get at the gate, you have 40 minutes and you see that your plane just started boarding, you still have time. Just get your stuff, get off the plane and go. I hope this video was as fun for y'all. I hope this video was helpful for y'all. If you're in Detroit airport and you have a short connection, uh, you have to walk super far from your gate, just know it only takes 20 minutes if you're just walking and you can definitely cut that down if you take the tram or in the moving sidewalks, y'all.